uh, urge you to make a documentary about? Well, um, I first got the idea to make this film um, when I discovered my passion for filmmaking. I was still, um, I was in high school doing uh, theater, like I was a playwright. So um, I wanted to make something that I, I feel like I knew I could make, but also I, I wanted to make, I just wanted to make a good story. And so me and my cinematographer, Russ, we put our heads together and we, we tried to come up with something realistic that we could produce for the low budget that we knew we were gonna have, but something, uh, something that could entertain people. And so we immediately, I, I started bringing up, you know, I spent a lot of time growing up in this very interesting place called Riverview. I spent a decent amount of my childhood there. And I started telling him more about it and he started buying into it as well. And so as we started the process for actually making the film, we soon realized this was more than just entertainment, that this was personal and that this was going to be a story about family and community and, you know, just, sh like, just showing people a little bit of where I came from. And a lot of people don't like to be on film. Yeah. <laughs> um, How easy was it for you, or not easy was it for you to, uh, or were they super thick? Yeah, oh, they well, everybody was just, everyone was so good to work with. I barely had any problems. Everybody, everybody I approached to do an interview for the film was, they were on board instantly. I think, I think everyone in the community loved the idea of there being like, a film for this sure. because you know I mean Riverview I mean it, it's it's definitely not what it used to be and you know the fact that someone could come out and you know spread awareness about some of you know maybe some of the more negative things that are going on while still providing a positive message I think the community really came to appreciate that and so it um it's definitely a good thing for sure uh, in terms of what the people think about it from everyone I've spoken to and what I've heard. So. And have they all watched it already? Yes. Oh, yeah. I had a private screening for this back in November, and um, I, I was also in an online festival, so people could view it online, and it's been on YouTube for a long time. So, and uh, um, it, it, it got up to like 9,000 views, and you know, for my minimal experience that I have making these kinds of things, I. For my standards, I say that was, I, I was, I'm very proud of that. Yeah. So going forward with future projects and things like that. If my biggest project's at 12 right now. <laughs> but that, that's, awesome. that's, that's, that's good. <laughs> it is, there's a pool of stuff, you know, it's, that's out there. It's just able to guide people towards it. Um, how long did all this take to do all these interviews, compile everything and stuff like that? Well, that, the production, like the actual production process took two weeks. It was me and my cinematographer, we were, bumped up in the very back of my grandparents' house, like, you know, where we filmed some of it. And, you know, we just went all over, up and down, because this really is just like one long road with a dead end, like where the river is. And so we were just going up and down this whole street for two weeks, just getting every, filming every location I had written down, every person that, you know, wanted to be a part of this. And um, that's, and, and you know, it's funny because, you know, making a documentary, that was just the shortest part of it. A lot of the time went into like me, like like you know, post production, you know, me me writing the script after the fact, so I know where I wanted to place everything and editing, and you know, I, I, most of the work because you know, the actual production process, like filming interviews and things like that, it's like you're going on a journey. Like you don't really, with some documentaries, you don't really know what's going to happen. Like the whole the whole segment, like the whole river filming segment. Well, we didn't even know we were gonna be doing that, but then um, we talked to Wayne, who's sitting in the back over there about, you know, uh, getting on the boat and doing that, and we approached him for the interview. Like, we were just gonna interview him. We didn't know we were gonna be on the river and get some good footage for that, but luckily that ended up happening. So, you know, sometimes it's just unpredictable, like what's gonna happen when you're filming a documentary, and it, and it turns out to be something better than what you originally imagined. Said, I mean, it's funny. Documentaries are scripted, but they're unscripted. Right. Yeah, absolutely. You know, framework, and then they can go. Yeah. Completely. It's kind of backwards from if you were film, uh, filming a fictional film, uh, in terms of how you, you know, arrange the stages of production. Yeah. Nice. 
Uh, any new ones on the horizon? You've got the documentary Bug, you wanna? Uh, no, uh, my next film, I definitely want it to be a fictional film and I definitely want it to be like a drama, but like, not like, you know, like full on drama, but I, I kinda want there to be some comedy to it, you know, me and me and some friends have been pitching some ideas around and um, I think about it all the time. I definitely wanna get started about it and, you know, uh, you know, money, just getting the money for it, you know, that's a, I think about that more than anything, but you know, it's just, just getting out there and doing it, you know, and you know, getting out there and doing it for this film was probably, it just reawakened me. Like, it, it, it did so many great things for my life and it helped me realize that, you know, this isn't just a dream. You, you can do this if you want and you don't, you, there, there's hope as an independent filmmaker. You know, you know, it, the hardest part is just starting. Yeah, getting the motivation or absolutely, or even you know finding the right people and stuff. I mean, you did mention it. It's something I usually would talk a lot, honestly, and I haven't mentioned it that much during the film festivals. It's like beating a dead horse, but yeah, there's nothing that can really destroy an independent filmmaker like financing. You know, oh yeah, like, it's it's right. and, and and the technology nowadays is so incredible. You know, uh, I think it was the second year of my other film festival. I had a film completely filmed on an iPhone, and it was actually right. amazing. You know that. Oh yeah, no, it's it great these the days. I hear the, the, the picture quality. So you know, you can work through your limitations, but it's you know the biggest limitation is yourself. Absolutely, you know, like telling yourself, you know, uh, or putting stumbling block blocks in your way and stuff like that. Absolutely, that's awesome. Does anyone have any questions for Jackson? And. Yeah. I'm sorry, you have to like, you can just start shouting if you do, because the lights in our eyes, we really can't see any of you, so. Thank you, that, thank you, that, that means a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's tough, but hey, I mean, that's indie filmmaking, absolutely, right? you know, and, uh, and most of us are just, it's not our day job, you know, it's mm -hmm. a secondary thing. I mean, it really is an honor just to have it as a hobby. Like I, I saw in the interview you were doing with the filmmaker yesterday, you know, just having it as a hobby and doing well at it as a hobby is, that's that's all I care about more than anything else, really. Well, that's great. It's great for film festivals to put your film where people can enjoy it and you can see their reaction and talk to them. Yep. You know, that's an, honestly, that's an award in itself. Oh, that's obviously why I like doing this as well because there's nothing like seeing your film and seeing the reaction of other people that you don't know. You're not watching your living room with your buddies. Absolutely. Like that, so. Any other questions for Jackson? What was the biggest challenge? Um, okay, well, okay. This is, uh, I, I did kind of want to get around. This is a hilarious story and nobody in the audience, none of my family even know about this, but they're going to find out now. Um, the first day of filming, so all the golf cart footage, the driving stuff, um, all of that footage was lost. We it got deleted. We we accidentally reformatted our SD card after the first day of filming, and we didn't tell anybody because that, not at least not then. So uh, we used this really sketchy looking program on the internet called Disk Drive to recover it, and we could have done reshoots, but uh, I didn't. I didn't want to. The dog in the in the in the filming. I mean, she passed away shortly after this film was made, and she's really old. And we didn't want to have to put her out in that heat again. I didn't want to have make you know my granddad have to do that again. So you know, I paid the hundred dollars to use this disk drive program to recover those files. And yeah, it was uh, probably one of the scariest things that ever happened to me. So. Oh my God. Uh, just for all you filmmakers that may delete your footage, and not that I know this by experience, but you can go to a company that's called Recuva, R E C U V A, and they're free. And you'll know it's legitimate because it's pure form, P I R I F O R M dot com. Uh, I've never lost footage before a day in my life, and I've never used that company to great success. But uh, just for future, if it does happen to us, absolutely. We'll back everything up and trip again. Thank you for that recommendation. <laughs> Two hard drives, one in the cloud. All right. That's what you do. Yeah. <laughs> but no, you did great. I'm glad you were able to recover it. That's fantastic. That's awesome. So we've all done it. Not me, but we've all done it. $400. <laughs> Is there any Bigfoot stories in the area that you were researching? Oh, uh, I, I, not that I know of, but, you know, 
I, I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. You hear a lot of interesting, I mean, just talk to some of the people over there, and they'll tell you loads more than what you've heard in this film. I can only get so much of it, but yeah, no, you, you, you probably hear things more interesting than Bigfoot coming out of there. <laughs> awesome. All right. I appreciate you, Jackson. Thank you so much. Thank you.